Yeah. Earth Spirit Invoker, particularly if it's a uh, Quasflix Invoker, is super tough to deal with if you don't have a mobility. I would really prefer... Yeah, that's the big question mark, is where those Sunstrikes go flying. Z-Freak, he's moving on top here. This could be a first blood opportunity. They're going to get the spend stun to start. Sunstrike to follow it up, rolling on top of EGM, and slapping the support down. Quick first blood for Complexity. Last available fairly soon for Chessy. He's not in vision yet. Okay, he's going to come oh, in. Bulldog seen it. Bulldog, he does a phase boost, though. He's very fast, but they get the stun off, or the, the slow to start. Now going for the TK. Sunstrike coming through. There's a level one it. vacuum. Swindle's holding the skill point there and will secure the kill. Really heads up play, but Alliance back to top. Where he's going to get the Makes last hits here. Looks like it's all going to Swindle this far. Ake, okay, maybe going to try to grab some. Z Freak arrives and Limp comes for the ambush from behind. He does have a stun available. And get with the tether and the slow into Ake. Okay, Sunstrike's going to connect. Z Freak rolls forward. They'll slap him down. Another pick off there. Yeah. Uh, dead even game here when it comes to gold, but if you look at the experience department, that's where Complexity have a big lead as they look for a pick off here. Bottom lane again, it's Z-Freak making the move forward. Swindle in support. He backs him back. The Bulldog like to come out again. One last swing will finish him off. And this is quarter of a second. Oh, come on. You gotta, you gotta give me more time on these ones. Like, no, that wasn't fair. He's, he's trying to set up here. They do have the Nature's Prophet ult. He's going to stun hands, get off in the Dire Jungle, but the quick reaction might be enough to net a kill the other way. God, Strength now S4, a bit too tanky. Five, but it's not enough to get the kill on its own. Are they going to look to cut S4 off? The Haste turn actually has Ward off. They've got a Cold Snap at the ready. Need to lock him in position. Z Freak rolls forward. This will be a big kill, and they're going to completely chain stun S4. They punish the Dragon. See a pressuring bottom. Uh, well worth it. As well as a smoke commitment here from Alliance. Yep. And skin. <laughs> he ain't going anywhere, buddy, but it was a noble sacrifice for the greater good. Absolutely. Swindle, not last week. Oh, he's back now, yeah. S4 looking to run. Swindle's aggressive move forward. He gets stunned off the back. Can they lock him down and finish him off? Relocate coming from behind. They're going to stun EGM. Swindle's back into the wall. He's caught two. Omni slams through, but over the top comes Z Freak rolling forward. And Sven is angry. Out for blood. Can he start getting that cleave damage off so far? Rubik down. The trade is here. Oh, no no combo. Beautiful stuff by Chessie. Blasting Alliance. And forcing them back. Bulldog arriving, though. And Trying to finish off Chessie. The 10 creeps have been ignored. They're doing a lot of work here. Three down the other way. Somehow, Zord all F4 is going to survive. They've lost hand skin, and it might be a fifth. Lip trying to backtrack, but again, Zoda with the Blade Fairy dodge, avoiding the Storm Bolt and a TP forward. Alliance, while they may have been behind in terms of the numbers, they've unfound un un complexity here. They will win the fight, they'll get the tower, and they never even took much damage on that tier one top. Pretty catastrophic losses for the complexity side. S4 is just the master of the rune. That entire fight, he had an arcane rune. He has the such bottom a Bottom lane still moving on spell. Bulldog. He wanted to finish off the tower. He got rolled on and kicked back, but they can't do enough damage here. Loda even spinning again. The Sprout's going to prevent Deep Rain from juking. Loda might kill him off as well. A wild smoke gets popped and Lip might go down. Rolling to the south. Complexity are crumbling in every direction. Can Z Freak even make it out? He's got no TP. He TP'd in bottom. Alliance should know it too, and they're hunting for him. Bulldog looking to exterminate the Earth Spirit. He gets that kill as well. Make it seven kills. Get a couple of kills there. S1, not oh, just the hatred. The rune mastery general. He got the power denied, but was it worth it? Searched out by Swindles. Kept alive. Z Freak looking to move in. Flip comes from behind. Together with Handskin, but they're both barely squishy, especially Handskin. Nice Stephanie Blast. The Magnetize going. Z Freak giving them that extra firepower. Handskin, will he make it back? Just barely. Relocates out to safety, and now a Stormbolt. It'll lock down EGM towards the river. He heads on in, looking for an escape. Has a lift available, handing onto it for now. But the roll forward from Z Freak. He'll get stunned by the drop. Swindles continues pursuit. Looks like they'll be able to burn down the little Rubik, trying to survive through it all. He can't. Swindles will blink in, and one last karate chop together with Limp. Yes, he did. Salvage is a little, him. but oh, they've lost another complexity. Oh. Just can't get clean counter kills. Yep. That Graph shot up so much for Alliance that that two for one losing and Invoker gave them 1,200 back the other way. But they might be losing some here. Z Freak rolling out, but it's not the longest roll. And EGM's in position here to potentially lift him. Does get the vision, pulls it back. Z Freak punished again. Complexity hemorrhaging at this point for the key initiator for the team. Well, with the BKB up now, he maybe builds towards some damage items of his own. Oh, Luna, Sunstrike! Oh, the lame one. Hey. Roche is low, complexity down in the pit. This is just they not, actually not doable. Fighting I don't think so. Or maybe trying to find heroes on the way out, but yeah. Alliance, the second guy, he can blow up this IO for sure. Hanskin's down in the pit.
So there's a lot of heroes on this map. He can kill. I mean, oh, Hanski doesn't even need the backup. Yeah, that poor unfortunate soul. And dead. And Alliance can actually now apply pressure. Despite Complexity having Aegis, you've taken Io out of the picture. You've got all your kind of key items and levels. You've got, I mean, Battle Fury, a farming item, but also a good DPS item. Freak, big time. He got the kickoff on the ball of Magnetite to follow up. Then they drag him back towards the wall. Z freaking swindles. The brothers yeah. finding kills, but they are losing their mid tower at the same moment. But very important pickoff, because otherwise this mid this mid push They're is gonna be very dangerous. Lota could be in trouble here. Stormball from the high ground. Lip doesn't have a god strength though. There's the kick. Can't get off the Omni. Wouldn't matter anyway. Complexity striking right back here. Both Sunstrike coming through. S4 hanging on to the BKB and very tanky at that. They don't quite have the firepower to finish him off. Jesse hanging on to the Deputy Blast. Doesn't have the Meteor invoked for five seconds here. This is dangerous to stick around if you're Complexity, but by golly, they oh, want to. Now the back, the Deputy Blast follow up. PGM gets cleaved through. S4 driven back. Pop that BKB, they say. We dare yet. Finally, he has to. Turns with the free fire, but the tower down, a buyback from the Rubik. EGM, big commitment to try and hurt, hold to turn this. Chessie has a Yule Scepter, they might go back in. Aki's out a bit too far, or maybe it's S4 they want. They're gonna find the Dragonite. Rogue on Dragon, who will prevail? It's the Meteor that crashes through, but S4, tanky as all hell, just won't go down easy. Now Z Freak moving in, a fresh Magnetize ready. Lotus got the Omni, he moves on to Limp, but with the overcharge, they can't do enough damage. Everyone disengaged. Well, Alliance, they've always got a plan B, and it's it's plan Bulldog here with the Aghanim Scepter into Ocarina. Oh, top lane, they're making the move in, S4 going to engage, has the Blake Dagger, Hanskin going to get caught out, they're going to sack the IO, and now S4 chases forward, another stun up in three seconds time, Blimp might, they're like, there's no way, there's no way this S4's guy's on his own, guys. He's got a BKB, and instead they're going to find the Chen, who actually was in the neighborhood, the combo just destroys Ake, melts him down, and sends Lexi, they're going to oh, rely no. on relocate, and the third back from Dax here. He's got the Blink Shivas, though, this is a big combo. They're gonna deploy the veil. Swindles driving forward. He is gonna match the back, but it's only on Loda. Now Limp arriving. Already popped the BKB. Can he bring him down in time? No, he gets the TP out. It looks like EGF will be the sacrifice here. Stormbolt, heavy commitment just for that. But they get the Rubik kill. They are gonna find the IO on the relocate back to the top lane, though. His hand skin will be finished off. So in the end, Alliance, uh, they do full Flexity because of the fact they've lost so many towers and have to deal with this flip -flip. Oh, they are chasing though. This hate onto Aki, the combo again. He just doesn't stand a chance. Crushed beneath the meeple. Bashir continuing to accelerate his farm and he might run into Loda. Actually yeah. blinks away from the IO of Hanskin, who's gonna get instantly Omni Slash. Oh, but he oh, that Glimmer Cape almost enough to save him. Wow, not quite in the end. That game yeah. tries to usher them away, but this will be what looks like a totally free, uncontested road jet. So, an Aegis now for Chessy. Maybe trying to last steal it. Isn't there. He's got an invis. Swindles is moving on top. Chessy hunting. He's going to find Bulldog trying to TP out. Sunstrike, the combo comes through. Bulldog in a lot of danger. Got the Blink Dagger, but won't be allowed to use it. They vacuum him back in. It's a dog pile. Four heroes. In fact, Z Freak was even. Limp's nearby. Swindles is also someone in position. Limp's Seems like they're debating it. But right at this moment, as Soul Karras is Double damage. completed, they want to find Flips ready to rock and roll. Comes in, looks for the cleave. He's chewing through it. Four. Can he finish off the Dragonite? The Chiba's getting popped. A roll in. The whole complexity gain is here. And they've got Bulldog on the run. He tries to make his way out of this one, but he gets chopped to bits. And now Ake could be next. Ake backing off and trying to survive. He'll go down. Bulldog TPing away to the bottom lane. He actually fought back just to shove these lanes out. He even has BKB. As well. He didn't have BKB. Right he, he can actually take a subsequent fight. They bottom can go for the throw. Bottom lane as well. Chessy is going to fight Bulldog who just fought back. This could be a diamond to Bulldog. There's the deputy blast up to the cliff. Roasts him to bits. And down he goes again. No profit for seconds, AD. And Invoker can TP back in. The boost of travel off Doreen just allows us to move around the map so quickly. And complexity are in prime position, take multiple lanes of racks, possibly go for the throw here. Well, not many oh people gave God. them a chance at this major, let alone on the main stage against the Lions, but right now, they have beaten the crap out of this, their fellow Swedes. And they will take two full lanes here. Chessy, does he move on to the throw? And they know Bulldog doesn't have buyback, but waiting for his opening. 
They might look to take this. Swindle surging forward through the river. There's the roll in. Right while well loaded shopping. And <laughs> no, it's on. Hits the deck no, more poorly. The hero's going to go down. 80 seconds on the sideline. And they're not done yet. Chessie explodes another, destroying EGM. Okay. So they can instantly come back into the fight. And there's no split push really at all. Just the top lane slowly moving out. Mid lane's at the river. But Limp wastes no time and forcing the issue. He's sprouted and slowed down. Chessie. Blinking forward engages, they get a Dragon Knight initiation, but Lim quickly pulls back. Now a Sun Strike mid, Definite Blast Meteor combo doesn't really do much at all, but it does force out a BKB on S4. Now that's down, still the tether, keeping him healthy. Lim is essentially gone right now, he just won't die. And now the second Definite Blast, another Meteor from Complexity, rushing in, forcing them back. The Omni Slash committed yet to get a kill. They've lost the Dom, no buyback for him. That's the Megas, and that's GG. Complexity, it may have been heavy underdogs, but they've got Alliance on the ropes now, and we are gonna see what everybody wanted, what they were begging for, a game three. And this has been a true underdog story. Complexity, the one team left who started in that round one lower bracket. We saw last major OG make the run, and right now Complexity looking to make a name for themselves. They still got game three against a team like Alliance, so it's still such a big uphill climb for them. An alliance, a team who's been in these kind of positions before, but what a fantastic game of Dota 2 LD. We're going to have a chance for the panel to break it down more fully, but very quick thoughts from you guys.